Welcome back. Manchester United star Marcus Rashford was involved in a terrifying car crash following yesterday's game against Burnley. The England international had just left United's Carrington base in his $700,000 Rolls Royce before the smash. Rashford was left shaken up but has no serious injuries, a source told The Sun. Meanwhile, Manchester United are reportedly in the race to sign Brentford fullback Aaron Hickey. Again and again, Manchester United are reportedly ready to take a huge financial loss on Jadon Sancho in order to sell the winger in January. On the other side, Dalot praises Fernandes. Defending Diogo Dalot has heaped praise on Manchester United, Captain Bruno Fernandes, for his defensive abilities as well as his goal against Burnley. He told club media, I think it's one of the advantages to play with Bruno on the line. Without the ball, he is so, so clever when he has to press, when he has to drop, when he has to help the fullback, and when he has to help the midfielders. With the ball, we bring him inside to build a little square in the middle. This creates a little bit of confusion for the opposition fullback to know if he's going to jump or if he stays with me. I think it was a good way of playing, and I think it was rewarded with his goal. The movement that he did and the pass from Johnny, I think it was a great goal to see, and I'm happy with the performance. In additional, Diogo Dalot has suggested that Manchester United need to maintain their standards after their important win over Burnley. He told club media, I think today was massively important. Apart from the three points, I think the clean sheet brings us a little bit of extra confidence to go to the next games. We needed it after these last couple of games when we conceded a lot of goals, and this has to build a foundation now for the next game. I think today we showed a proper compact team, aggressively defending the box, everybody supporting each other. Collectively, we were very good. Everybody was speaking with each other, communication, aggressive on the front foot. And I think that brings you confidence when you look to your mate and he's giving everything for you. You want to give everything for him as well. Today we came out to the pitch with that mentality. I think this is the standard that we need to have for the rest of the season. Again and again, Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has dealt his players another warning explaining the importance of everyone doing their part. He said that it's about 11 players who do their job. I always tell my players we attack with 11 and defend with 11. When one or two are not doing their job, it's like a pack of cards. So that is not only one or two players. Meanwhile, Man United ended their run of three straight defeats with a narrow Premier League victory against Burnley at Turf Moor. Burnley manager Vincent Kompany called Manchester United a wounded giant as he regretted his side's inability to find a way past the Reds' defense on Saturday night. United and the hosts battled hard in the opening stages, but the Reds showed their strength towards halftime. After seeing his goal ruled out by VAR, Johnny Evans produced a superb assist for Bruno Fernandes to volley home the winner in stoppage time at the end of the first half. While the Reds managed to pick up their third victory of the season, Burnley are still awaiting a win in the Premier League. Reflecting on the game with TNT Sports, Company regretted his side's missed chances. He explained, It feels like a week of good performances but maybe not the rewards. In the end for us, you look at the amount of players that we have to blend into the squad and it is just a case of looking upwards for us. It was important for us to have a complete performance. We did, but there are a couple of moments where I am thinking, if that goes in, it rewards us a little bit, but we go again. I could name a few good performances, but you play against, let's put it this way, a wounded giant. And it is always difficult, and it is always something you have to be wary of. I thought Burnley did itself proud today, and on another day we get more points. But the mentality we have, it doesn't put us back. We will go again. Following Luton Town's draw earlier in the day, the Clarets now sit rock bottom of the Premier League without a win to their name so far this season. The design team have delved deep into the Old Trafford archives and found inspiration in the jersey worn during the triumphant FA Cup winning season of 1908-09. The result is a striking Adidas ensemble that effortlessly stands out both on the terraces and on the pitch, again and again. 
you can ask yourself that why takeover was delayed. Manchester United's takeover has been delayed because of the poor start to the season. That is according to the Daily Mail, who report negotiations have hit a snag following a series of negative results on the pitch. The Red Devils lost four of their first six games across all competitions before Saturday's victory at Burnley. Leading bidders Sheikh Jason, Bin Hamad Al Thani, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe are in no rush to increase their bid to six billion because of the latest displays. These results have highlighted the size of the rebuild the club needs to return to the top. On the other side, Manchester United are set to take a huge financial loss on Jaden Sancho in order to sell him. Sancho is suspended from United's first team following a bust-up with manager Eric Ten Hag. It started when Ten Hag blamed the winger's performances in training as the reason he was left out of his squad that lost 3-1 at Arsenal. The England international then spoke out and claimed he was being used as a scapegoat, which saw him axed from the Red Devils. The 23-year-old is believed to have been given the chance to return if he apologized to the Dutch tactician, something he is said to have snubbed. According to the Daily Star, the Manchester Giants are now ready to sell Sancho on the cheap, and they could even look to flog the ex-Borussia Dortmund star in January. Again and again, Manchester United have joined the transfer war for Club Brugge, star Antonio Nusa, dubbed the next Neymar, Arsenal, Chelsea Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund, and Marseille, are also among at least 20 clubs understood to be monitoring 30 million rated Nusa. The 18-year-old became the second youngest Champions League scorer ever last year during a 4-0 group win over Porto. Chelsea had a 26 million on deadline day bid turned down for the forward. Meanwhile, Manchester, United have a step it up there, interest in Galtasaray star, Sacha Boy, reports Sunsports Sten Goodman Theorid. Devils have been on the French defender's trial for the past six months. Boy, 23, helped his Turkish club run away with the Super League tightly in Mai, and United scouts watched him in Galatasaray's 2-2 Champions League draw with Copenhagen on Wednesday. Boe inspired an amazing fight back by the Istanbul side, scoring after 86 minutes before Tete leveled two minutes from time. Again and again. Manchester United defeated Burnley 1 to Neo following Bruno Fernandes's stunner at Turf Moor. Fernandes broke the deadlock in the 45th minute with a wonderful volley after a diagonal ball from Johnny Evans. Evans stood out in the first half as he also had a goal chalked off on 26 minutes as Rasmus Hojlund obstructed the Claret's goalkeeper, James Trafford's vision. Vincent Company's men came close to an opener of their own as Zeki Amduni hit the post after 17 minutes. Manchester United players are still seething at the way De Gea was treated, reports Sunsports' Neil Custis. This comes amid a series of howlers committed by De Gea's successor between the sticks Andre Onana. Sunsport understand the United squad were left fuming when the goalkeeper was shoved out of the side door this summer after 12 years. The Spaniard is still searching for a new club after leaving on a free transfer once the Red Devils failed to take up their option of extending his deal by 12 months. The 32-year-old was a hugely popular member of the dressing room and won the Premier League Golden Glove Award last season after 17 clean sheets.